This is Anna for Shiny Shiny and Tech Digest, and we're here with the Vuzix Wrap 920 AR glasses, which have just arrived for the first time in the UK. Is that right, David? That's correct, yep. Yeah. They've just been uh, flown in literally from the States uh, last week. Amazing. So this is one of the first demos that you've done of them in this country. Um, well, um, what's new? Um, they've got AR, and they are in three dimensions. Um, previous Fusix glasses were these ones, the RAP 920s. There are current range yep. of products current available range. on sale. Current range available on sale. Um, uh, these cost uh, how much? Uh, those ones there are 299, 299. retail. Yeah. Um, and these, this version, which won't be available until after the new year, is that right? Well, we're introducing the product initially, uh, specifically for designers and for uh, universities who are developing and working hard on AR software. So this particular product, in its first manifestation, will come complete with a large supporting software package. And we see this as being a developer product. And this, this will retail uh, up until Christmas for $14.99, including the software. That's amazing. So these are priced fifth, about £1,500, um, but they're aimed at the developer's market. Um, so looking to make sort of fun little apps with the new AR technology on these. OK, um, we'll just give you a quick look at the hardware. Um, that, that's webcam in each eye. Um, there's a screen in the back. Um, there's little adjustable kind of nose pads and um, you can even adjust the focus, can't you? So if you usually wear glasses, you can actually adjust these here to um, compensate for um, your eyesight. Um, so can you, um, can you explain what this little dragon on the screen is doing? Yes. Um, Basically, uh, the glasses also have stereo sound and, as you just said, the focus control. What, what we're seeing on the screen is two images because we're using uh, 3D format of side by side. And therefore, that will portray itself onto the screen in a left and a right eye configuration. Amazing. So what you're saying is there's, there's two webcams which produces that kind of stereo image, a kind of two-part image which allows 3D things to be created. Correct. Glasses, but when yeah. you look through the glasses, mm -hmm. you will only see one image. Fascinating. So, right, what we're seeing on screen here is the two separate images that are being fed into screens on the back of the glasses. We can't show you what it looks like through the glasses because we're filming. Oh, maybe we can. You're not going to get it very well. That no. doesn't particularly work. But I can tell you I've been looking at it earlier, and it's very realistic. Um, if you move the little tab, um, this is a little marker, you can pick the dragon up. Ooh, oh, okay. There you go, so the dragon is sitting on the marker. Um, and you're looking through the glasses, you can move around, the dragon moves with you, you can tilt it from side to side, chuck him up in the air and he flaps his wings. Um, so it's really cute, it's really quite compelling and just really fun. That, in essence, demonstrates the obvious first use of these AR glasses, which is gaming. This is going to be lots of fun for things like World of Warcraft, anything we've got, little avatar. Um, it's really cute. Um, I'm just going to ask um, David to set up the another one of the users, which is um, book publishing. And David from Vuzix is now demonstrating one of the second uses of the AR glasses that they've just created. Um, and that is um, publishing. So what you can see here is not a traditional marker, it's not a barcode, it's just a page from a book, in this case a sci-fi book in German. Um, could be in any book. Um, basically, when you look through the glasses, you don't just see the page, you see what you see on screen, which is a set of apartment blocks with a fire on top of them. Um, so these are a set of apartment blocks that are being attacked by a UFO, which you can't quite see on the picture right now. But um, basically, as you move the glasses around and as you move the the page around, oh, there he is. There's the flying saucer. Um, so it's just reenacting a little tiny story from a book, but popping out of the page in a three-dimensional augmented reality model. Very compelling. Very interesting. You can see there's lots of potential there for um, tie-ins with publishers. In fact, are you 
you going to Hanover Book Fair, is that right, David? Uh, we are um, launching there with a book publisher, a new children's book, which actually um, provides educationally an opportunity to use this technology. Uh, it's a book about the way of life, um, it's narrated, and also as you turn the pages, uh, large mammals will grow and it gives the children a completely different three-dimensional um, effect. That's fascinating. So obviously this is just a fun little kind of gamey one, but there's a lot of potential for yeah, how the world works, explaining anatomy, just lots of educational potential. Very much so. Yeah. yeah. I mean, hmm. it, it, this technology has a massive opportunity in vertical markets. Uh, if you look at the B2B, if you look at the design market, the architects, everybody wants to um, see their products in three dimension now. Mm -hmm. So, <coughs> excuse me, if, um, if I was a motor manufacturer and I was launching a new engine, um, normally I would have to have lots of spare engines supplied, mechanics would have to strip those engines to learn exactly how all the moving parts work. Mm -hmm. If I was able to provide them with a manual and a pair of our glasses and the AR technology, then they would be able to see all the elements of that engine in three dimension just by turning the pages of the manual. And therefore, that would reduce costs significantly. That's very interesting, yeah. So, what, so we've, we've talked about gaming as a use, this is publishing and education as a use, and um, David's just been discussing um, some business applications, such as very similar, so training, assembly, three-dimensional modelling. Yeah, really fascinating, really interesting. Um, final use that's cropped up recently is um, sort of fashion. Um, you've seen, you may not, may or may not have seen, there's sort of Macy's Magic Mirror, where you can try on clothes in augmented reality. Um, but that's another potential use for this kind of very visual sort of technology. Um, so thanks very much, David, then. Um, so these are the um, Fusics Rap, Rap 920 <laughs> AR. ARs. Amazing. And um, not available yet, but um, coming to the UK very soon.